So guys, I have to know, so uh, Young Justice 3 got announced and the Judas Contract was shown here for the first time. Do you guys get to look at those shows while in production and decide whether or not you can, you know, parody them in your upcoming seasons? Uh, we have the utmost respect for all of those shows, so we would never do anything to diminish uh, the, uh, the, the importance of these by making fun of them or parodying them in any way. Is that sure. correct? Yeah, that's true. We're very sensitive. We're sensitive to everybody's uh, concerns about things and, and yeah. Um, yeah. He's, yeah, he's right. He's totally right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm with him. <laughs> <laughs> We're like the three stooges. <laughs> it's like, oh. yeah, what he said. What the heck? So what can we look forward to this season in Teen Titans Go? Oh, we're closing out the fourth season. I think what we're looking forward to the most, aside from our, our Easter special, it's called Easter Creeps. It brings together two very creepy characters, the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. Uh, we're also looking forward to the Night Begins to Shine uh, four-part special uh, that we're actually currently in production on. Shine. Uh, yes, it's one of our most epic episodes. It has to be our most epic episode, right, Pete? Absolutely. Um, and we actually have famous musicians covering a very popular song from our show. We have CeeLo Green and we have Fall Out Boy doing covers and appearing in this big uh, four-part special. Talk about the creative process when you guys are writing or producing an episode of Teen Titans Go, because you don't want to think like a traditional superhero movie, like a superhero show like Batman or, or Justice League or that kind of stuff. It's a different thought process. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Why don't, why don't you say? Why don't you say? It's, that almost, it's, like, it's like you guys are having fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah having, I, having worked on regular superhero shows and working on this, it's a yeah, it's a very different thought process. It's it's you have to come at the stuff completely different. Anything that you would think would be appropriate for a superhero cartoon, you have to stay away from. And uh, I don't know. You just want to take these characters. You're very strong characters and uh, make them do sort of absurd things. And the more absurd, the better. Yeah, I'm with him. <laughs> what he said? What he said? Yeah, it's you know, it's like it's just about like ensuring that the show stays fun and and funny. Like we like to have a good like laughs per minute, you know, ratio. Like like a good like I don't know what we say like two laughs per minute. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I I think we we're only capable though of three laughs uh, every five minutes, but yeah. you know, two laughs per minute. That's is what the bar we though. For. What do you think about that, Pete? Yep, yep, two laughs. <laughs>, two laughs. So, do you guys have a favorite episode? Like, example, my favorite episode is when you had all the Robins come in and interact with each other, and they all had extreme different personalities, and the Tim Drake one was like, what's up? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I gotta say, my favorite ones are, are the, uh, the sort of, like, art direction heavy anthology episodes that we make. Like, uh, the Campfire Story episode was really good, and, um... The other one, the Dreams episode that we did in the first season was really good. So any of those, it just like the visual style breaks and like we just we have fun uh, changing the look of the show. That's always really exciting for me. Every day is a holiday, yeah. Every episode is my favorite because every episode is amazing. Right, Pete? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Styles, new episodes, everything's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pete, you have to have a favorite episode. I do actually, um, and it's not just because uh, I worked on it, but uh, the fourth wall is probably my favorite for that exact reason. Oh, yeah. They, uh, you know, our shows uh, being accused of being so lowbrow that they have to fancy things up. And part of that is we rebooted the whole thing. Voices, design, everything. So that was actually a blast to work on. And we made like a whole new cartoon just for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Cool. If you guys could put one superhero in the show that you haven't done yet, it doesn't even have to be a Teen Titan, which one would it be and why? Oh, uh, any superhero? DC was like, go crazy. Does Darkwing Duck count? I would put Darkwing Duck in there. Perfectly. Yeah, I'd put Darkwing Duck in there because you know he's a duck. Superhero. He is a duck and he's, he's a superhero. Uh, Blues are dark. I was just thinking about this the other day. I would like to. I worked on uh, Batman: Brave and the Bold, and uh, I like the Aquaman character that we did for that show. So I think he'd be funny in our show. You want to bring your version of Aquaman? Our, yes. Can we do that? Even though we sort of had a version of Aquaman. Why don't we do that? I don't Can I know. do that? Would you, would you guys yeah. care? Yeah, that'd be fun. Do you, you, do you even know what this Aquaman's like? No, but that's cool. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, if he's going fantasy with Darkwing Duck, I'd say Macho Man Randy Savage, man. That's who yeah. I want. He's a superhero. You know what I'm he's a, he's a superhero. superhero. I know, dude. That's my man right there. So I think. Put him in for parody reasons, I think, too. I would love to. We actually. I don't think he's available. Yeah. We'd have to, like, license him. Yeah. Or something. Say, oh, yeah. The entire. He just says, he just says, but, oh, yeah, the whole episode. Yeah, exactly. We did, we did do the parody of Beast Boy in the wrestling episode of like the cream of the crop. Exactly. Yeah. And that was that was from him. That was a beautiful scene. So. Yeah. So when does the new season premiere? 
oh, our, our fourth season, I think, goes into the summer, and then our fifth season will premiere. Who knows? Who knows? But well, the show well. never stops, basically. Yeah, so say, it never feels like we have. Pre- we had a premiere in 2013, and that was our last premiere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we've just, just been keeps coming. An episode after that.